Uh, this will be our uh, third post of the day. I'm toying with this format of collecting ideas over the course of the week and then doing the, doing the posts uh, more on the weekends. Um, I don't know if I'm going to stick with it, but, but I'm going to try it today. Um, this post I'm going to talk about, this is going to be a shorter post, and it's going to be mainly just to uh, introduce a topic that, uh, that I want to discuss um, in much more detail later, and that is, and this will go in the good series, um, and this is, um, I want to d introduce a distinction between microscopic pr progress um, unconnected to human good and macroscopic progress tightly connected to human good. So micro unconnected, macro connected. And I want to just briefly discuss this and introduce it, but definitely come back to it um, in later posts um, to elaborate because it's important. Um, now, how can we measure? Uh, the, this question was, this sort of distinction was sort of started by thinking about how can we measure the progress or development of a person, community, uh, the na a nation, the entire world. Now, two ways I think you can do this. We have microscopic uh, progress unconnected to human good and macroscopic progress closely tied to human good. Uh, both need to occur in an ideal society, but I would say macroscopic progress tied to human good is much more important, much more valuable than microscopic. Um, if you want to put it in a numerical sense, this is just rough, impressionistic, but still I would say one unit of macroscopic progress is worth perhaps five units of microscopic progress if you want a mathematical image of it. Now, what is microscopic progress? Microscopic progress unconnected to the good. Well, the best way to describe is to kind of dis um, to define is to kind of describe a scenario where, where you could see it. So you imagine a town and this town over the course of 10, 20, 30 years, um, say it was a small town developed by one developer. He built a little home community and then over the course of 20, 30 years, slowly but still steadily, um, many restaurants, pharmacies, gas stations, banks, um, uh, came into the town, um, uh, were settled in the town, and each one over the course of many years uh, offered better products and services than was offered, oh, say, let's say 10 years before that. This town uh, will have experienced microscopic progress unconnected to the good. Now, if you're a citizen, if you live in this town and you need food or prescription drugs or gas for your car or financial transaction, um, you now have more places to uh, get these things done in a more convenient fashion and uh, and and with better quality. Um, so uh, so that is what is uh, that is the progress your town has seen. But I would argue this is not vital. Uh, even uh, this is not vital. If um, you could uh, you could certainly get by if your town had uh, a fewer restaurants or gas stations or banks. Get by. Uh, lines would be a little bit longer. Maybe a few errors would be made. Maybe the quality of certain things wouldn't be uniformly as high. But you would get by. It would be okay. Um, so with macroscopic pro with microscopic progress, things mainly chores and other essential day to day everyday living needs basically get taken care of a little bit more efficiently, a little bit more conveniently, a little quicker. But that's it. The general tenor of the life, general um, uh, general uh, nature of life in that community doesn't really change throughout all this microscopic progress. If you deposit a check for Viagra, for example, through uh, mobile banking versus uh, depositing that same check through brick and mortar, you're still buying or selling Viagra, as, as the case may be. If you buy a stock through a smartphone versus by visiting and driving to your broker and, and writing up a ticket, you're still just buying a measly stock, hoping it's going to explode higher and make you make you a ton of money without your having to do any hard work. It's the same activity. If you buy an expensive ten thousand dollar carbon bike at a new bike store that just opened up, versus buying one for two hundred bucks at Walmart, a Schwinn bike, you're still just buying a bike. Uh, that's it. Uh, that's all you're doing. If you want to buy a dress that reveals a ton of your body uh, when you go out. Again, the activity doesn't change just because you now have 10 places to buy it from as opposed to two. So that's why I include all these things within microscopic progress.
It's, it's, it's microscopic. It's not vital. Now, what is macroscopic progress? Macroscopic progress, as we said, is tied to the good. So the, what, what would happen in a town that was macroscopically progressing is the mix of activities, thoughts, and personalities in this community would improve and orient toward the good. Let me repeat that sentence. In a town or a nation or community experiencing macroscopic progress, the mix uh, and the totality of activities, thoughts, and personalities of the community would be improving and orienting toward human good. Uh, not entirely. Uh, there would obviously be, um, uh, you know, it's a, it's just, this is more of a evolution or progression, not a revolution, not a, okay, today we're just, for 35 years or 34 years we had been unconcerned with the good. Tomorrow we're going to be, everyone is just going to be fully in the good. Obviously not like that. It's, it's a long, deliberate, often slow um, trending toward the good. Um, and so, uh, but anyway, it happens. And so over, over many years of the same, let's say, 30-year period, uh, instead of 90% of the population of a town being, um, let's say, money and sex worshippers, uh, only 20% are now uh, like that. Instead of the dominant leisure time activity of persons being a trip to the bar, it now becomes meditation or reading or just some sort of quiet um, uh, uh, group activity involving some sort of hike or nature or something like that. So, uh, again, the, the, the macro, the, that would be a town where there would be macroscopic progress. That's all I've kind of thought about so far. I want to I certainly develop the idea more, but, uh, but that's, that's just to introduce it for now. We'll definitely pick it up in other posts.